Hi everyone. So I have Marlo Rose here and she wanted to show you all the things that I got at the craft show this weekend. Um, here in Anchorage we had one of our larger craft shows this weekend. We don't have very many. Um, I think we really only have two that are any size, you know, larger than a basically a church bazaar. Um, one of them was this last weekend. And um, we don't have anything like a doll show or anything like that. But we do have two reasonably decent sized craft shows. And then a bunch of really small like church bazaar ch craft shows. So this weekend we went to the large craft show, one of the large craft shows, and we got some cool stuff and one really big surprise. And so Marlo wanted to show you all of the stuff. So the first thing we got was this pretty baby bonnet, which was a really good deal. Oh, this was pretty inexpensive. I was really kind of surprised that they, it was, it's handmade um, you know, with lace and um, everything else, beautiful ribbon and beautiful flowers and um, just gorgeous. Um, this They were only selling these for like $7. I thought it was such a good deal, especially up here. Um, never seen anything like that that cheap. And then the, at the same booth, I got these little hats. Um this is like hey diddle diddle I guess because we have the kitty cat play in the fiddle and um the spoon yeah so anyway I thought this was really cute and then just another little baby hat with chicks on it and then a little set that's a receiving blanket and a bib and some booties that were all handmade. Um, that was kind of cute. And then we got some doll clothes that I actually f think will fit the babies. Um, this right here was um, made for dolls, but it's a traditional Alaskan um, native costume, I guess you could say. Um, they have typically um, adults and, and children wear these. Um, native um, Alaskans and you know they usually have a hood like this and they can they can be made out of any fabric the summer ones you know look pretty much like this with um, you know with cotton fabric and in the winter they use you know like um, heavier fabric or skins and they almost always have this um, brick rack on them um, I've never seen one I don't think that didn't have that on it and especially like around the pockets. I mean, this is so s standard. And then just kind of like a little skirt at the bottom. Um, typically they're worn with, um, with slacks um, here in Alaska by the native community. So that was kind of cool. I think that this will fit um, some of the babies, some of the smaller babies, I think. And then um, from the same person, two diaper covers that were really intended for, I think, Cabbage Patch dolls, but that I think will fit, um, like Mindy and, um, some of the, you know, preemies that I have. And then, um, <laughs> we had an Invincible Me hat. <laughs> I thought this was kind of cute. Um, <laughs> so anyway, and it's hand knitted or whatever. And then the biggest surprise of all from the doll show, or not the doll show, but the craft show, a, a doll. Um, this is, of course, a, um, a polymer clay baby, and it's a mini baby, of course. He's seven and a half inches. But the big news is, is that there's actually somebody in Alaska who I met yesterday at the craft show who makes these. And... Um, she knew about Reborns. She's the only person in the whole state of Alaska who I've ever met that knew anything about Reborns. And um, she made this little fellow, and she had some others there. And he's so cute. Look at his little face. 
So anyway, um, and she, I don't know if she knitted and made all of his little clothes, but she's, I guess, in a Facebook group, and she knows where I can get more clothes for him and stuff. So anyway, so he's a cute little guy, and I'm really more excited than anything that I actually met somebody in Alaska who knew something about reborns and silicones and polymer clay babies and what have you. So we're all excited about that here. And um, just wanted to show you our kind of cool craft show haul and say hello and show you the new baby. And I haven't decided what I'm going to name him yet, but I'm kind of leaning towards Christopher because he looks like a Christopher. And um, that's really about it. So hope you guys had a nice weekend. And we'll see you later. Bye.